Today, we're gonna to be talking about two of the most popular e-commerce platforms for you to start dropshipping on so you can find out which one is best for you. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing the pros, the cons, and pricing for Shopify versus WooCommerce. Now on that note, let's not waste any more time and let's just go ahead and dive straight into the action. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on everyone, Mark here with AutoDS. And on this channel, we cover everything and anything dropshipping related. We teach you what some of the best products are to sell along with some of the best tips and tricks to help you start and scale your dropshipping business. Now, with that being said, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. We're almost 80,000 strong on this channel, so make sure you become one of our many loyal members so that way you can get the most out of your dropshipping business. Now to go along with this video, we are gonna have the ever popular cheat sheet. If you want access to that all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below who versus shopify along with your takeaway from this video once i see that you went ahead and did that i'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet in that cheat sheet i will have everything that i'm going to be talking about in this video along with all of the different links to help make things easier for you to decide which one is best for you all right so let's go ahead and get started and the first thing that we need to answer is one of the ever burning questions what exactly is woocommerce so in the simplest possible terms woocommerce is pretty much a plugin that works with the website wordpress and what what exactly is WordPress? WordPress has tons of different plugins, widgets, and themes to help you easily customize your dropshipping website or your WordPress website. It pretty much just makes it extremely easy to be able to customize your entire store to make it look appealing and make it look, more importantly, professional. Now, using WooCommerce does give you a few benefits. For example, you have access to customer service features. It also gives you access to payment processing, coupons, and a few other really important features that can help you start and scale your dropshipping business. Now, what about Shopify? What exactly is Shopify? Well, Shopify is an online website that allows you to easily create your own store. It features drag and drop themes that are extremely easy to customize and requires absolutely no coding. With Shopify, you can easily manage your store's design, all of your different products, and all of your inventory. On top of that, you also get access to payment processing, customer data, which is extremely important because that tells you exactly what your customers are doing on your store. You can see what your customers are looking at, and you also get access to a lot of their important information, such as their emails. Honestly, Shopify is one of the more popular e-commerce platforms out there right now. It's super easy to use and it really does make it extremely easy to be able to customize your store the way that you see fit. And that's why it has become one of the go-to platforms for e-commerce and dropshipping. Now let's jump into some of the pros of using WooCommerce for your dropshipping business. So for one, you have complete customization. So you can edit every single part that you want on your dropshipping store. This really helps make it easy to align your website with your brand. On top of that, you have absolutely no selling limits. So you can sell as many any products as you want. You can sell either 10 different products, which we highly don't recommend. You want a little bit more than that, or you can sell a thousand products. And the best thing is using WooCommerce, it makes it extremely easy to be able to keep track of all of your different products and make any edits as necessary. WooCommerce also has free as well as paid plugins, as well as themes. So all of the different plugins that you can find on WooCommerce can help you out with different aspects of the business. So for one, you can use them for either email marketing or you can use them for customer service. WooCommerce also has a pretty handy content content management system. So what exactly is content when it comes to dropshipping? One really good example are blogs. So you can have a blog on your dropshipping store, which can cover the features of a certain product. Now, the cool thing is about having a content management system is that it gives you the ability to be able to give access to different people. So with this, you can give access to people to be able to create, edit, and publish different types of content on your website, again, such as blogs. Now, one thing about WooCommerce is that it does have a pretty high learning curve. So it is a very technical thing to start and it takes a little bit of getting used to. But if you really do want to learn how to use WooCommerce and all of its really powerful features, you can check out this video right here. And it explains absolutely everything that you need to know to get started dropshipping on WooCommerce. Aside from that, though, to be completely honest, almost everything has some sort of learning curve. While yes, some are a bit higher learning curve than others, all it really takes is a little bit of tinkering and a little bit of messing around. And ultimately, you'll get the hang of it. You'll learn by experimenting. At least that's more or less the case for me. I learned by actually getting my hands dirty and experimenting. So don't be scared to experiment. Really, there's absolutely nothing you have to lose. Most of the times you're able to start with a free trial. So just use that trial to get your hands dirty and learn the game. Honestly, WooCommerce is jam packed with benefits and full of extremely useful features. So make sure you check out the video that I mentioned earlier so you can learn the ins and outs on getting started dropshipping on WooCommerce. Now, what about Shopify? Where does Shopify come into play and how does it compare to WooCommerce? Well, Shopify to start is actually one of the simpler websites 
websites to use to get started either in the e-commerce business or in dropshipping. The same way that WooCommerce has a bunch of different plugins to help you out with different aspects of the business, Shopify also has tons of different apps to help you out with the same stuff. They have apps to help you out in customer service management, and there's also apps to automate your entire business, such as AutoDS. Now, Shopify also has tons of different themes to help you easily customize your own website. These themes come in a variety of different colors and different styles that are actually easily customizable. You can change almost anything that you want on there. Now, they have free themes as well as premium paid themes. The prices on those vary, but they can start anywhere from the free themes all the way up to a couple hundred bucks. Seller limits on Shopify Shopify are also non-existent. You can add as many products as you want, so that way you can easily start scaling your business. There's also an extremely handy and easy to use blogging feature. So you can create your own blogs on your Shopify website. Now it's really beneficial to create a blog, especially for your dropshipping website, because in those articles, you can structure them to have the proper SEO. So that way you can bring in more traffic through search engine optimization. Now, hands down, one of the best things about dropshipping on Shopify is the fact that their customer service is probably some of the best out there. If you ever have any issues or any questions about the platform, you can reach out to them and they'll easily help you out with pretty much anything you need. Now, some of the cons to Shopify are pretty much the same for WooCommerce. For one, both of them don't have organic traffic. So you're going to have to bring traffic to your website on your own. To do this, you have a few different options. For one, you have your blogs. You can start writing blogs on the different products that you're offering, or you can do content marketing where you start making things like TikTok videos or Instagram reels to promote your products and link them back to your websites. And another option that you have is paid advertisements. So you can run things like paid Facebook ads or paid TikTok ads. Now, if you want to learn more about marketing your dropshipping business or how to run paid Facebook ads, then just make sure you check out that cheat sheet in there. I'm going to have a link to an ebook, a 100% free ebook that explains everything you need to know about paid Facebook marketing. Remember, in order to get access to that, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag Woo versus Shopify, and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Now, the second downside to setting up your shop on Shopify is kind of the same as setting up your shop on WooCommerce. And that's the fact that you have your monthly or yearly fees. There's always going to be a subscription fee that you need to pay in order to be able to set up shop and continue selling. Now, what are those fees? Well, let's go ahead and cover those. So to start, Shopify starts at $39 per month, and that's using the monthly subscription. That's the starter package, and then it goes up from there. It goes up to $105 per month and then up to $399 per month. Now, the good thing about Shopify is that you can get started for just $1 for the first three months. So you have the option to test them out for just $1 each month for three months. On top of that, you also have credit card transaction fees. Now, these credit card fees do depend on the type of package that you have. But for the most basic package, the one that starts at $39 per month, you can expect to pay 2.9% plus 30 cents. Now, for the middle option, it's 2.6% plus 30 cents. And then for the highest option, it's going to be 2.4% plus 30 cents. Now, regardless of whichever plan you get, whether it be the starter or the enterprise, you can also save an extra 25% if you sign up for the yearly subscription. Now for WooCommerce, what you need to pay for is the actual WooCommerce plugin. Using WordPress is actually free. Now, if you do want to get started with WooCommerce, what you're going to need to start off with is the business plan. And the business plan starts at just $25 per month. Now, another expense that you're going to have with WooCommerce is a domain. So www.myshop.com or whatever you want to name your shop. Now to purchase a domain, you can expect to pay roughly about $20 per year. And there's a few different options for this. You can use something like Bluehost or Google domains. Now, the biggest question here is which one's better? Which one should you use and which one is going to get you the best results? Well, honestly, that all completely depends on you. If you're okay with the learning curve for WooCommerce, then it might be worth a shot to actually check out WordPress and check out WooCommerce. But if you like making things easy and easily customizing everything, then Shopify might be best for you. My suggestion is sign up for WordPress as well as WooCommerce and just look over it. See if it's something that you can understand or you see yourself actually learning. Also sign up for the Shopify free trial. It's worth a shot because you're really only paying $1 each month for three months. So you can also really play with that without really having any risk to lose anything. At most, you're probably going to be losing what, about $3 when it comes to that. Now I want to hear from you. Which one is your favorite? Which one do you like most? Have you tried any of them? Let me know down in the comments below if you like Shopify or if you like WooCommerce. Also remember that in order to get access to the cheat sheet with everything that I spoke about in this video, along with all of the different links, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Woo versus Shopify, and let me know your takeaway from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching today. It truly means a lot, especially if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Once again, if you found this video helpful and informational, just make sure to leave a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario once again with with AutoDS and I'll catch you guys next time.